Hello everybody, welcome back with another video of Call of Duty. Today we got our full Season 5 reveal for July 24th. And we got our roll map in front of us. Now we're going to be breaking down everything in this Season 5 blog post that has everything has to do with Season 5. Before we get jump into the blog post, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you are and if you want more videos like this in the future, please smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you are new. All right, so let's uh, jump in right into the uh, roadmap and the blog post. So let's go ahead and start with Warzone. Warzone will be getting a new POI. It will be super store point of interest. Uh, it came from for dance if you guys don't know that if you guys are new to warzone go check out some previous warzone videos or live streams of previous warzone maps um, we will be getting a new uh, superstore resurgence that's a new mode uh, we will be getting supreme resurgence in season um, we will be getting a new field upgrade redeploy drone beacon and resurgence bounty contest public event and elite contracts in season and recon flyover public event in season so those are will be coming back into modern warfare 3 the two bottom ones for gameplay features will be in season uh, moving on to Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer and zombies and moats. We will be getting bait, a new 6v6 map. We will be getting cell ship, another variant of shipment. And it is in the daytime. And then we'll be getting a new variant of rust. And then we'll be getting ink house, another new variant that will be in season. And we'll be getting a new equipment of EMP grenades. So that'll be nice. Moe's will be getting slam deathmatch at the launch of season 5. We will be getting arcade. And there's modes coming in arcade. And we can talk about that in, a, in the blog post when we get to that section. Um, we will be getting Cod Warrior. A little bit more information on that in the blog post. We will get there in a minute. And coming in in season, we will be getting Fish Fiction. We will be getting Paintball, and we'll be getting Diffuse or Destroy in season. Now moving on to Zombies, we'll be getting a new Final Story mission. We'll be in season, and a new Dark Aether Rift and new classified schematics and that those will be in season it's sad for zombie players kinda sucks though um, moving on with weapons operators and more we will be getting a new assault rifle that's coming in the new battle pass we'll be getting a new SMG coming in the battle pass and in season um, we will be getting a spear and a compound boat um, we'll be getting Valeria in the Battle Pass. We'll be getting Rhea Ripley in the Battle Pass from WWE Super Slam. And we'll be getting Ivan from in the Battle Pass. And we'll be getting a new Black Cell Operator. We can talk about Black Cell and the Battle Pass a little bit more when we get to that point. And we also got our events, Conquest, Echo Indo Live. And then coming in see in season wildlife modes wanted and emotional overdrive in season. For a second I thought it will say emotional damage, like the memes going around on the internet. Um now something very surprisingly and I this doesn't make sense to Call of Duty, but I mean it's here in ways we get WWE crossover for some reason which is now we'll be getting a SummerSlam event also we will be getting Cody and we'll be getting Rey Mysterio and we got our classified 
end season event and we get new aftermarket parts all right moving on to the blog post uh there's they posted this to the season five launch trailer you guys can watch that on your own time if you would like um we already went over the roadmap now moving on into the blog post with the new multiplayer maps we get two new brand new uh 6v6 maps and a couple variants new variants of shipment and rust all right this is bait the new 6v6 map it looks very cool um, yard at launch the new 6v6 map and cell ship at launch another variant of shipment this is way better than the snow one and the nighttime rainy one I should say and then here's a new variant of rust and then here's another new variant of ink house so of stash house but another new variant um, now moving on to multiplayer modes so this is all coming into the multiplayer section of side of things um, I will have timestamps down below if you guys want to do certain things in the video if you want to do cert if you want to look at certain things inside this video I'll put timestamps down below uh, in the section comment section down below in the description so um, all right multiplayer modes um, arcade playlist in season we got a whole bunch of arcade sledgehammer melee mini gun more sniper rifle you know what yeah in season we get uh these are the modes i don't know why i said the snipers <laughs> all right game mode cod warrior at launch um these are the mini games for cod warrior we get beat up the car so you technically beat up the car as shown on the picture we got breacher ball bullet time shoot um, if you guys want to pause and read um, feel free uh, don't shoot drone wars that's weird fragged the hunt knives meta loadout mini guns for everyone <laughs> all right last ninja standing revive shocking and turret time those so those are all the mini uh games for cod warrior so those sound pretty interesting and fun so um and now game modes in mid season we got game mode fish fiction paintball and defuse or destroy this sounds like search and destroy by the way uh, we got multiplayer ring play. I'm not gonna go over this multiplayer ring stuff because I don't play ring play. I only play regular multiplayer and regular Warzone. So I'll let Lego Unlock go over that if he still goes over that um, and other content creators. Uh, shout out to Lego Unlock and DK Dynamite. Those and Ink Slasher, those are the three content creators I like watching. So, um, we got our new tactical EMP grenade at launch, very cool. Uh, now we're moving on to the zombies overview side of things. So, this is kind of set for zombie players. I wish we can have it at the start of season five, you know, why we wait for other black ops 6 reveals because I'm I'm ready for black ops 6 because I'm tired of this mid-season zombies crap in modern warfare 3 kinda sucks I wish we can have all zombie content in mid-season <laughs> so uh, in the start of this season I should say um, if you guys agree please post a comment down below so yeah um, we get our final story mission, um, and then we get a new Dark Aether Rift, 
in season. Um, and then we get new secrets and some and schematics in season. Um, so disciple bottle in season, uh, grenade, bundler, bundler, and we got stash increase. The stash increase will increase your stash size to 30. So get loot 10. So if you get this schematic. Stash increase schematics will increase your stash size to 30. So, at least we're getting a stash increase. I totally thought we were getting a wallet <laughs> for sure. I really wanted a wallet, but it looks like it, we're not getting that, which kind of sucks. So, um, the zombies content MW3, some of it is kind of a W, some of it, all of it coming in mid season is kind of an L. So post L in the comment section below for zombie content coming in mid season. I hate that so much. So now moving on to Warzone side of things for Call of Duty Warzone players. I like playing Warzone some of the time. Um, most of the time I play Warzone Resurgence and then I go do zombies for weekly challenges and hop back in Warzone and test those aftermarket parts on. So. Alright, moving on to Warzone, like I said, <laughs> I got sidetracked, and we're getting a Superstore at launch, the return of this point of interest from Urzik, not Urzik Stand, from Ferdansk, this is returning, so excited, we're going to have to hop into that when that releases next week, so, I never play, I never landed at Superstores so much. Uh, but I have went there on a few times when I played on for dance so so excited um, for that um, so yeah all right these are the images it looks like the same as always sometimes so that's pretty cool can't wait um, yeah that's superstore I'm excited to have this back so sorry guys I'm not talking through this um, but I've been looking at the images and they look pretty dope honestly though it looks like the same as Superstore hopefully we get a uh, multiplayer map of this in in the mid season update hopefully because we can go back to Modern Warfare 1 2019 so can't wait for, for Dan to come back um, now we're getting uh, on to Call of Duty Warzone modes. We're still in Warzone section. We're just going to jump into modes, features, and public events. So Superstore Resurgence at launch. So I think it's a small map and you just jump and survive on Superstore. So um, we're getting WWE in season at launch. And two more operators in mid season. Uh, we're getting a Supreme Resurgence Rebirth in mid season, so I'm uh, happy to see what that is all about. Um, a new public event bounty contest. So, Resurgence modes at launch. Um, I love this skin with the guitar on the back, and the Black Cell skin looks pretty cool too, but. I like the default skins because I think the black and gold and different colors kind of take it away from the whole perspective of the skins. And 30 bucks is kind of wasting your money on the color of the skins, you know. So, um, let's see. New feature Elite Contracts. All modes in mid season. I like the. <laughs> I like the. Captain Price skin right here. It looks pretty cool. Um, new public event. Recon flyover. All modes in mid-season. So it's the same thing like we saw in MW2. Um, like on Vondel. whole bunch of recon drones fly over. And drop buy stations or, and stuff. So maybe they change it. Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. Loving the skins here. Honestly. Um, we got Call of Duty Warzone rank, Season 5 rank play. I'm not going to go over that. 
I don't really care for it. But if you guys care for that, go check out Lego Unlocked or DK Dynamite for that or Ink Slasher for that. So shout out to them. Um, love their content as well. Um, Season 5 Call of Duty Warzone Rewards. Um, so there's going to be having Warzone Rewards in Season 5. Um, so combat. Acquire Loda to get hunting. Uh, earn rewards by taking the fight to the enemy and surviving to the end. Mobility. So here are all the Season 5 rewards. Um, so, I will go over this in another video if you guys want me to. Um, so, um, call, now, we're moving on to, we're still in war zone, okay? But we are moving on to the war zone mobile overview. If you guys don't have war zone mobile, please do get it. You will get your aftermarket parts from in there after you play a couple matches. And you can use those tokens to get the other aftermarket parts that you have missed. And it will transfer to the main game on console. So please do that. I've been doing it. So it's a great way and you don't have to do those crazy, stupid, weekly challenges, crazy ones too. So, um, so I like the Rhino. That's cool. We'll be getting a Rhino. Um, so meat is coming in mobile. Um, outpost for Dansk. New POIs outpost. That's pretty cool. We'll be getting zoo. A new POI in for Dansk. So zoo. So this is setting up the new POIs are setting up for for dance for next year when it launches. So we can see all the new POIs like Zoo, uh, train wreck, construction site, and cliffside base, government buildings, new outposts. So those are all the new POIs that will be coming in for dance on to console next year when it releases. Hopefully, hope I'm right on this. <laughs> you guys can post in the comments saying L or W if it is true. Um, I think there are rumors going around or leaks going around about it. So uh, now moving on to new modes and features for the mobile size of things. Frontline mode. I like the skin here. I like that skin also. Pretty cool. Um, practice zone for Battle Royale for Warzone Mobile. Um, updated feature event store. Rhea Ripley and Rey Mysterio. Very cool. The zoo event. And we got our events right here we'll be getting the zoo event july 6th through july 31st summer uh wwe uh, summer slam event august 1st to august 7th train wreck event um august 8th to august 14th the final round event to part one event august 15th to august 18th and then August 19th through August 21st, we will be getting part two of the final round. Um, the keep launch in season, so it looks like a gister. And now connect overview. So if you want to connect all through Warzone and Warzone Mobile through all three games, um, here's a content summary if you guys want to pause. I'm not going to go over that. I don't ever go over that. Now we're getting into now we're going to be getting into the weapon side of things, which I'm so excited for the for the compound bow for sure. Now, uh we're going to be getting a new SMG, the Stactic HV, the new some uh submachine gun SMG, I should say. 
And for our new assault rifle, be the we will be getting the STG assault rifle at launch. So so excited for that gun. Can't wait. Um, I think this will be meta too, but I gotta try it in zombies and warzone. See which game mode works better. Plus with the new SMG. Um Spear, we're gonna be getting a spear. <laughs> Very funny. Um I wish Rambo will come. I hope Rando Rambo will return in Black Ops 6, hopefully. So Um and we will be getting a compound bow and I'm hoping this compound bow should have been released with Rambo in the Rambo bundle in Black Ops Cold War. I think that will I think that will be really cool. But yeah, we'll be getting combat bow. So excited for that for sure. Now uh, we'll be getting six new aftermarket parts at launch and in season. So um we gotta look at aftermarket parts right here. We got the wide mouth barrel for the Morse sniper rifle. We got one for the Bow 27, Death March, cool, and then the Jack Slash various under barrels, crazy, and the Jack Protein Rail LMG, very cool, um, and then there's a whole bunch more for the shotgun, um, do wield. Reclaimer 18 will be coming in the in one of the things. So week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and then week seven or in the middle of the weeks we'll be getting the compound bow as well. So hopefully. Um, moving on to the Black Cell and Battle Pass. So this is the things will get interesting now. Now we're moving on to the Battle Pass. Um, like I said, if you want to know which modes, which things are coming in, in which modes, um, I will have timestamps down below um, in the description. And you can just click on them or you can just fast forward the sections, what you want to see the most. Um... This is Black Cell. I love this skin here with the sledgehammer and the sword in the back. Love this skin, but I'm not getting Black Cell. I think it loses the purpose and doesn't save you money at all. Um, the Inquisitor. So, like every Black Cell bundle, you get 1,100 cut points, the Black Cell skin, the death effects, the operator, and so much more. Um, now here's the battle pass look for the new season. Um, I like the aspect of it, but I'm not feeling the vibe of this new battle pass system at all. I wish they go back to the regular where it's all just in the straight line down here for sure. Because when it's like a map, it's all you're like, what are you looking at and whatnot, and trying to figure out where things are. So. Uh, I wish they just go back to the straight line that's down here instead of this map right here. Um, so let's move on to the battle pass. We get Valeria, um, and here's the the first skin that you'll get if you purchase the battle pass, and then here's the one of the skins in tier 100, I think. Yep, tier 100, you will get that. Um, and then we get Rhea Ripley, Mama, <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> what the heck, that's kind of weird. Uh, she will be coming in at the uh, launch of Season 5 next week on July 24th. Um, and then Ivan at launch, Sector 16, very cool. This is Reckoner. This is a battle, uh, black cell, or something like that. Yep. Um, and then store offerings. Now we're going into store offerings. 
Um, so with these store offerings, some of the bundles are coming in mid-season. Some of them are at launch. Just to let you guys know, um, we will be getting another bundle. We will be getting a full battle pass blog post and bundles article on Tuesday, July 23rd. So like I said, if you guys want me to do more of these videos like this and then stream Call of Duty the next day on the launch of the new season, please let me know. Post it down in the comments or hit that like button or let's reach 50 or higher views. That's how I do my videos and that's how I post more videos on this channel. 50 views or higher, I'll make another video. So uh, we get Cody right here, the American Nightmare bundle. That looks cool. It's a tracer pack. We are getting Rey Mysterio. Uh, of course, this is a tracer pack as well. WWE crossover. We're getting another uh, tracer pack called Tune Force 101. We're getting, look, a Gene Soap, you know? But uh, not the Gene Soap that we all are expecting because so I want the regular, not with the black outline on the tunes like Borderlands. I think this is promoting for like Borderlands, the new Borderlands movie it looks like. So pause it down in the comments. We'll be getting a new pro pack. I do like the new pro pack though. It's kind of cool. Underboss pro pack. Um, other upcoming bundles. Um, Tracer pack, sock puppets. So it'll be this one. Um, Tracer Pack, Odin Festival. It'll be like this one, right next to the sock one. And a Wildlife Wanted Codfish Mastercraft. So we'll be getting a fish. So Call of Duty is, has been being really weird um, lately. We'll be getting animal bundles. Like we got monkeys, we got pigeons, we got frogs. We got we got all weird sorts of animals for sure. So don't know what's going on with Call of Duty right now. We got Black Hole, and so for sure. Now we're moving on to new weekly challenges and seasonal prestige and events. So this chain breaker, I love the camo. What it looks like for sure. Um, I don't think it's animated. We're going to have to wait and see when we see it. Uh, but I really hope it's animated because I love animated camos more than just standstill camos, if you guys agree. So, uh, multiplayer. I think these are like the default things. We're going to have to uh, watch with the... Uh, what the challenges these aren't the actual challenges these are just the demo ones that they preview so um prestige this is your prestige reward if you reach the max these are your calling cards so and then 1050 is the max so you go to a thousand you go from 850 to nine, nine fifty, one thousand, one thousand fifty. So, yeah, a lot of levels. So, um, new prestige camo at launch. This looks v Mercury. Then now this is animated. I can't wait for this. I love the prestige camos more than the weekly challenges camos. And some of the challenge, I feel like these prestige camos should um, <laughs> should be on the act should be uh, what should we call it the mastery camos. I think the prestige camos should be the mastery camos, and then the mastery camos should be the prestige camos. You know, I think that's. I think that's how I want to put it because I don't know the prestige camos are kind of cool better than the actual mastery camo for sure so if you guys do agree 
with that situation post it down in the comments um i'll be definitely unlocking this on most of my weapons that i play in the game for sure you'll be getting 200,000 xp <laughs> um season 5 events now we're getting into more events um but i'm just going to be late uh will be in the under the new weekly challenges so we got the same event with all the other stuff um uh the cod the new the cod call of duty endowment followed by call of duty next on august 28th uh, so that looks like it's already it Thank you guys for so much for watching the video. I hope you guys stay tuned for more. Um, uh, so yeah, that, that's this is the end of the blog post. I hope you guys enjoy this segment here and all everything in this video. If you guys want to see more and what you guys are excited for, please post it down in the comments. I do read comments and do respond, just like other content creators. Some don't respond, but I do re do respond back to you guys. But that is the end. What weapon are you excited for? Which content are you excited for? Are you excited for Superstore to return? Um, do you guys still play Wars on Mobile? On for Dance? Have you guys got a couple wins on that? But thank you guys for so much for watching. And this is a goodbye to you guys. And and if you guys are excited for Ray Ripley and Ray Mysterios, uh, Ray Mysterios. And are you, and are you hating the zombie content MW3? And is it an L or a W? And hope things get better for zombies with Black Ops 6 when 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 it releases in October. So, yep. Yeah. And peace out, everybody. And I hope you guys see you next week on the launch of Season Five. See you later.